So we're going to use ConvertX to DVD today to convert a video file, but not only convert a regular video file to DVD, but also add subtitles so that way you can watch your video file, perhaps to download an AVI or DivX file, with subtitles that came with the file or subtitles that you could have downloaded from a separate site. Okay, so let's first go ahead and add our video file to the conversion. You can do so by going to File, Add Video Files, or use this green plus button, or drop and drag a video file into the interface, which I have just done. Now, if your uh, video file um, has subtitles that are the same name as the movie, then they will automatically be imported into your project. Let me do a view list. I see here I have my favorite video movie cd1.avi and the subtitles for this file is my favorite movie cd1.srt so the only difference in the name here is .avi or .srt and if they're in the same folder Convertix to DVD will already automatically import those subtitles with the file. I can see that by um, expanding the tree view next to title set and then I see a subtitle stream and I can click on that and I can already see that one um, subtitle stream has been added there and that is the SRT file. If I want to be even more certain of that I click under the source files underneath and I can see my video file which is my favorite movie cd1.avi and secondly my favorite movie cd1.srt. Now the spaces, the underscores, the titles, they need to be the exact same in the same folder for Convertix to DVD to automatically detect those, to add it automatically to your file. Now, if your SRT uh, subtitles or your SSA or your sub um, IDX files were downloaded separately, perhaps they are on your desktop or somewhere else, you need to tell Convertix to DVD that you want to add that to your video file. So once your video file has been added, so we're going to stick with the same video file um, called My Favorite Movie, uh, clicking on the plus next to the title set to expand that. Again, we come to the subtitle section, so even if this were blank, um, it would say zero streams you would still have that entry and you right click on it and it says add subtitle so you click add subtitle and a browser window will pop open and you would navigate to where your subtitles are and here I'll add for an example um, the IDX subtit si subtitles and these come in a pair IDX slash um, dot SUB subtitles so I add the IDX file click open and I can see that Convertix to DVD has just added a second a subtitle stream. So Convertix to DV DVD supports multiple um, subtitle formats. So I'm, just to do the example, I'll add, go ahead, right click again, and add another subtitle. And I will add this time a .ssa subtitle. So now in my project I have three subtitle streams. Now if I wanted to see more information about the sources of those, I go ahead and click on source files down at the bottom here and I can see my SRT, my IDX which is sub slash IDX and I will also see the SSA subtitle. All right, And going back onto the subtitle section I can change these by double clicking on it. Here it says whether it will be recognized as a French or Spanish or Italian, whatever I set um, for my DVD player to recognize it. So I could press on the subtitle button for my subtitles appear on once playing the movie on my DVD. Now one thing also to know is that during the a conversion process you will have your video file here. And move the cursor here. The subtitles will not appear in this video preview window but they will be on the final DVD burnt. Uh, you To activate the subtitles, you just press the subtitle button on your DVD uh, remote control or you can go to the menu that Convertix to DVD has made for you and activate the subtitles through the menu. So there you go. That is how you add subtitles to your video so you can see them on DVD when you're converting files. You can download Convertix to DVD 
from VSO Software website. That's www.vso-software.fr. Or, of course, you can just type in Google Convertix to DVD and check that out.